Hey guys, welcome to the latest Royal News Network live stream regarding the coronation. And what are we talking about this evening? But this rather amazing photograph that I got of Catherine and me. I'm so excited. This was so much fun. This was so much fun. Fun, and I can't wait to tell you guys all about it. It was just an amazing experience. It was a long, long day that started at 8 a.m. I was there at 8 a.m. They did not get there until 12.45. But those five and, no, no, wait, four and, four and 45 minutes <laughs> of time waiting for that was really, really incredible. It was so fun. I was so, so excited. So I thought today it would be fun. I'm sorry. I tried to get my light lighting right and it just still didn't come together, but I thought it would be just so fun to tell you guys a little bit of the story about my day. And I hope you guys really enjoy it because, oh, it was so fun. And then I'll get to some of your questions as well. And Jennifer, thank you so much for the super sticker. I just wanted to give you a shout out already. And then we all also have MAPG. Thank you so much. It really helps because these are long, difficult days sometimes. And I really try to get so much together. And thank you so much as well to Snowflow. I just so appreciate it, guys, really. And oh my goodness, so many. T. Grimm, thank you. And then we have um, Eileen and oh my goodness, and Sarah, Sharon, oh my goodness. Oh, this, this keeps going. Oh, wow. Okay. Gosh. Oh my goodness. I already feel so far, far behind and we, we barely started. All right. And then Kit Kat, thank you so much. You are inspiring. You've taken your love of royal history and forged a career out of it. Now you don't, you get to do what you love for a living. When I go on Twitter, I always keep an eye out for your updates. Thank you so much. And I just do love it. I love royals. I love history. That's part of the reason why I started this channel. And so let's get into today and what happened. All right. Two more here before I forget, or one more here. Wendy, thank you so much for the super sticker as well. Okay. So this morning I got up and I was trying to decide, okay, when do I get there? I wanted to get there earlier, but honestly, I was tired. And so I got up and I was like, okay. So I was like, okay, if I can get there by about eight, I think that would be good. I originally was going to go to the duck and dry because <laughs> I got it confused with the duck and dog. So I almost went to the wrong place. It was kind of in a similar area of town. So I got in a taxi because I was like, okay, I don't really want to take the metro because I couldn't find the stop easily. And everything like that. I'm sure it was there. I can navigate the Metro really easily. So I don't get lost, but I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted to go. So I got up and I got, I took the taxi and we got over there and obviously they were already setting up the barriers. And then when I walked down, there was only one other person there. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> yay! Okay. I've done this now guys a couple of times and there's nothing more disheartening than getting there, thinking you're there early and there's already hundred people there. <laughs> nothing worse than that. And honestly, as well, I followed Catherine and William around during their Boston tour. You just do get tired. If you're the only person doing it, it just does get a little bit tiring after a while because you're just, you know, you're on your feet, you're waiting for long periods of time. It was really cold and the first day it was rainy and it was just so much going on. So it was just hard to know exactly when I would get, um, you know, you just, it just kind of gets hard after a while. Cause you're like, Oh darn, I have to go here again, but I'm tired. And I want to do all this stuff. So, um, I went ahead and let me see if that makes light. Okay. I like that lighting better guys. <laughs> if the lighting was really bothering me, I apologize. It's really bothering me. Okay. So, um, I went ahead and there was like only other one other person there. You might remember her. She was the lady with the purple hair. So, um, I started chatting with her and then there was another guy who came up and he was there actually at 5 AM. I think his name is Louis or Louis, sorry, Louis. And so he was actually there earlier. And I guess apparently she watched his spot because I mean, there was nobody there. So, um, but we saw them putting up all the barriers and everything. And so we were just like standing there and the first hour, I feel like crawls, especially when there's just not that much happening yet. And part of the fun of like royal watching and being there is seeing how they, or at least for me, is seeing how they do all the barriers and like guessing what's going to happen. Where are they going to go? Because the whole thing you have to know, you have to realize is kind of a guessing game. You just don't know which direction they're going to come from, where the cars will be. Will the cars block your shot? Where the staff block your shot? Will the police officers block your shot? I've had many a police officer block my shot. <laughs> And that is definitely very frustrating. I mean, they have a very important job. Absolutely. A hundred percent. They have a supremely important job. 
but they, they get my, my way. <laughs> so I'm like, I like, I waited so long and I really want to get my picture. Cause part of the reason why I want to get, especially a lot of pictures is that as I do articles and videos, I want to be able to use my own material and not have to pay a third party for that picture. So the more I can create my own content, the bigger library I have for different things. So, you know, I caught, you know, pictures of Catherine sometimes when she didn't look that great, which is fine. Cause maybe that'll be useful in another video where when something happened. And I also have a newsletter and stuff. So there's just a lot of different things that kind of go in together, which is why I want to get as much content as I can. And in addition, it's just like, it's just fun. And I, I like it. And I have, I have a camera and I'm trying to figure out how to use this gosh darn camera. And there's a story behind that as well. But, um, so we were waiting. That first hour was rather droll, but we watched them kind of maneuver things around because initially when you got there, there were the four roads, you know, it was a corner. And so I was like, okay, so there's a door over here and a door over here. I kind of want to be able to see both doors. I don't want to be in a spot where I can't see both doors because if they enter in one way and exit another way, you want to be able to catch them either way. Because what's hard too, is sometimes when you just get the back of their head, that's just it's just not that helpful. And so I was just like really hoping to be in front. And so I was in front because here's the other tip. If you ever want to go and try to catch a royal engagement, it might stink. Get there early. Get there in front. No matter where you're at, at least if you're the first person by the barrier, A, if they do a walkabout, you will get to shake their hand. And B, if if what happens when everybody comes to a big event like that is everybody's phones go up and their hands go up and you just don't see anything if you're not in the front. So um, I was right there. And so I was kind of in the corner, but I also wanted to get a good shot of the other door. And I thought maybe two as well, they would go upstairs. And so maybe if they leaned out the window. I kind of wanted to see the window. And so we were just watching and we watched them. They towed away two cars. So if your car was in that area, it's in the impound lot right now. So because the Prince and Princess of Wales were, was coming and you were not allowed to park there. So we saw them moving the cars and then they changed the barriers around several times because for a while there was no no obvious route for them to get in. So what I mean is there's no like you're seeing all the barriers, but they actually just kind of formed like basically a giant circle in a way, but just like little points. It was like a cross type thing. And so I just wasn't sure which way they would come because I was like, where are you guys coming from? I don't know. And again, because it's all like trying to figure out, like trying to analyze and figure out the best angles and everything. What is going to happen here? Because it's a huge, huge question mark. Where are they going to go? And so we were just waiting there, waiting there. There was um, a gentleman named Peter and his daughter, Kate, ironically named. And they were, I chatted with them quite a bit. He's from Yorkshire, but originally, but now lives in Boston. Um, and so I chatted with him a bit and we just like watched them around. And then, you know, the police started coming in. The police presence started to grow and you're, you know, you're getting excited because it's like, oh, things are happening. And what, the other interesting thing too, I learned is for at least the royal photographers when they get there, because there were a couple of them there super early too. And I thought, well, that's weird. You guys are here super early and you have press credentials I don't so I get I get to have to be in the crowd here so I need to get there early but why are you guys here early apparently there is a a system a a system where the first person there sets their little their little kickstand against the wall or presence or whatever and then everybody else who comes by puts their kickstand in the same spot and then by the end whoever had their kickstand there first gets the prime photography spot i think beyond except for like the royal photographers get the better but um i just thought that was interesting that you see this long line of kickstands and it's all because that denotes where they are in the lineup for taking pictures. So that's kind of interesting in case you wanted to know. And so we were just waiting and waiting. And so more cops came, we saw more, you know, Royal Protection officers, and they started changing up the barriers. So we knew they were going to come and they were going to be right in our spot because somebody had a, a couple of people had actually stood right near the entrance of the pub. And I'm like, they're not going to let you stand there. You know, they need to let you like they need to let people in. And so um, I was like, they're not going to stand there. And so they did eventually make them move. So you just started feeling the tension rise. And then the photographers mostly came back and then they started moving them to another side. So I was like, okay, it's coming. It's, 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 we're like, we're, we're getting the anticipation's growing. It's, it's, it's all coming together. And so, and then, so we were just 
waiting. And then I was kind of watching the photographers because I knew as soon as the photographers were on, that's when they would come by. And so we could just tell they had opened the doors to the pub. Like, you know, we could just tell they were going to be there soon. I had heard they would be there at one. Um, somebody behind us had heard they would be there at 1230. They were more there about 1245. So kind of split the time. Um, about when they got there. And so we were just waiting and waiting. And then we see the photographers all go together. And then I'm, I'm like, but where are they? Where's the car? Well, it turns out they were walking down the street. We were, we, nobody was anticipating that. And I will say those people who were at the cafe right next to the pub got the best spot. <laughs> and I don't know how that's legal because <laughs> we were there super early. I don't know why they were allowed to sit there and we weren't anyways. So Catherine Williams started walking down the street and I was trying to desperately get some shots of them because guys, I'm just, again, I really wanted my own pictures because I think that's super cool. So let me see if I can find. So I knew they were coming down. And um, if you've ever, never dealt with these kind of cameras, they're complicated and technical. And so, um, but this one has a really, really high shuttered speed. So I wanted to get that to get the pictures. So a couple of times our faces aren't real clear, but you can see them starting to come down the street. And of course, Catherine had that bright, bright red coat dress, which is gorgeous, by the way. Not only is she gorgeous, guys, but that coat dress is incredible. Um, it has a texture to it that you could see. Um, and I just thought that was really, really pretty. I really loved it. And again, it made them bright. It made them stand out. So you just saw them coming down the street and everybody's like, she's in red, she's in red. And I'm like, but where is she? I can't see her. So this actually ended up being a pretty good shot here. Actually, they're pretty in focus. Sorry, I'm criticizing my own camera taking skills. But yeah, so they were coming down the street. And it's like, they're here finally. Those four hours and 45 minutes were well, well worth it. And what is always the question too, if, if you've been to any of these is how long do they stand in X location? Do they immediately go into the venue? Do they immediately, do they stand outside for a bit? That's always kind of a question you'll, you'll, you'll discover. Cause again, it's all kind of based around, sorry, my computer is moving, but it's all based around kind of how, about what the venue looks like and stuff like that. So let me pull down this picture and pull up. Nope. Oops. Nope. I did the wrong thing. Uh, and pull up a new picture for you guys to see. So they were stood right in front of us. And what's really cool is, is that you can't see them, but the photographers are behind them. So I'm actually getting the better shot of Catherine than most of the Royal photographers. And I got to say as well, most of the photographers are men, not to be a super feminist or anything, but I really think they could use a female royal photographer in the troop. So um, Catherine and William stopped right there and they chatted with the owners for like a good couple minutes. My only regret is that I didn't bring my second camera that I could use. I have a little stand for it and I could have used it as a video camera. I do. That's the one thing I do kind of regret is not bringing both cameras. I kind of had forgotten about that. So I do regret that a bit. That way I can, um, I, I could have done both. I did that in Boston a bit and it worked out really well. So they arrived and oh my gosh, she looked gorgeous. That clutch is so beautiful. And it's fun too, to kind of see who their staff members are that way for my next event. And I was like, okay, I know you're a staff member. So I'll be on the lookout for you. Cause I know if you're there, they're coming. So um, I just thought some of these turned out really well. I'm super, super excited about these. And it was just absolutely amazing. So, so cool. And so it was just, so amazing that they were just right there and they just again stood there and chatted with the owners for quite a bit and i was just again so stoked to see them and it made again all the all the all the time waiting and everything just so so worth it um because they are just lovely in person it was great to see them it's hard because it's like i'm trying to get pictures yet i want to like see them in person so i was just just it was just like you know awesome to be there because i had a couple especially my last day in boston when they were there ended up being like a total wash it was i missed like everything i i couldn't see Catherine at the harvard and then i got the wrong spot well somebody blocked my video camera when they arrived at the earth shot prize and then all these staffers and other people blocked my shot when they were there and so i'm like and then i was gonna find them i'm gonna get a picture of them driving off and i'm like and I, I was going to see near the cars and then somebody convinced me to go somewhere else. And I missed that shot over by the cars, which would have been perfect because I was the only person there at the time. 
And so to me, this was like, I've worked so hard and I've stood out in the cold and the rain and finally it's worth it. <laughs> finally, something has paid off because sometimes it doesn't. So I was just really, really excited to that, you know, to finally have this moment. Cause again, it's just something that's so cool. Cause how often do you get to do something like this? And again, we kind of heard about this last minute last night, but I knew like if they were going to do something, I was going to be there. Cause again, I don't know if I'll get another shot. And again, it's just a great time to see them in person because, and they said specifically they were doing a walkabout, which I feel like you don't hear a lot in their press releases. So I kind of knew that, hey, this would be different. And they were really looking to interact with people. And that doesn't always happen. So I was just super stoked about that. Sorry, I'm trying to see if there's any other really cool pictures. I have so many because my, my camera is on basically a burst mode. So it takes a lot of pictures at once. I was actually looking it up and there's like 800 pictures from this one engagement. <laughs> uh, and not all of them came out. And a lot of them are just me practicing. I was like, okay, do I have the lighting right in the manual mode to get the image I want? Again, it's all very weirdly technical and I am not proficient. I actually wanted to, if Chris um, Jackson came over, who's the Getty photographer, who's taking a lot of pictures of the world. If he came over, I'd be go, please, can you tell me your secrets to the camera, to the world of the camera? Cause I, I kind of follow it, but I also don't know. And I feel like sometimes it weirdly gets on this weird mode and I don't know. So anyways, they went inside and they actually weren't in there for all that long. I thought it was really short. I was also trying to mess with my camera to get some of the images to download to um, my phone because it can do that, has a blue Bluetooth setting. Uh, but unfortunately, I started doing that and I was like, oh, this is great. And I was hoping they would be in there an hour and they really were only in there. I want to say like 20 minutes. They really weren't in there that long. I really felt like it was this, this whole engagement was pretty much designed to accommodate the walkabout. And not that they didn't want to meet the people involved in the ducking, the dog and duck, but they really were, it was a process of, they wanted the public to interact with them. They wanted the public to come. So they, um, once they were done with the dog and duck, um, they started to come out a bit, but I will also say too, uh, this camera is new and it's known for having like freezing issues. So I had done the Bluetooth, started getting the, some of the pictures downloaded. And I was like, yes, this is awesome. And then it looks like, you know, you can see commotion coming back and you're like, oh my gosh, they're coming back out. And my camera's not doing anything. <laughs> I keep pressing the button, nothing's happening. And I'm like, I don't know how to fix this. <laughs> and so I'm like, like turning it off and on, you know, that kind of thing. If you like shut it down and turn it off and on, maybe it'll come back or something. And so I'm like desperately trying, not that your camera isn't, you know, your camera phone isn't bad, but the quality you get, you can see in this picture is just so much better when you have a really nice camera, especially one with a zoom. And so, yeah, it was just like, it took a while. And I was like, about as about when they were coming out, it finally snapped back into place. It, it finally got out of its its own head and they came back out. But we only saw Catherine first, which I thought was so, so fun. She was kind of just in the doorway. So hold on, let me find the picture here. Um, and so she was just kind of there. So it's like, it was just kind of cute though. Cause it's like, you, you know, she would smile every once in a while and you just see um, her face there in the doorway. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's, they're coming back out. And I'm like, and you just don't know which direction they're going to go in um, because they could do, they could go anywhere. And we knew that, you know, we were knew they were going to do a walkabout. We knew that for absolutely certain, but where exactly it was going to be and how long it would be. We didn't know. Again, we had a pretty good idea. I'm not finding the picture I want here. I'm going to find one where she's smiling. I got a really cute one of her in the doorway, um, but it's, not appearing to me because they all look the same, <laughs> but it was just super, super exciting to have that moment where it's like, oh man, is she, they're coming back. They're coming back. And the, it, you just want them to like, they're like, oh, come on, come on. So we'll just go with this one. Uh, so yeah. And she's smiling in this one. I just wanted to make sure I got one with her smiling. So, and here we go again. We've got Catherine. So she's hanging out there in the doorway. William hasn't come back yet. He's still in the pub, but she's out there hanging out in the doorway. And they're like, we're like, okay. And you can see all the, the people behind them. They were originally in the cafe. And I'm like, how did these cafe people get more access? Than we did? And we were there at eight in the morning. I don't know. Maybe they were 
friends of the owner or something. I'm not sure. Uh, so they were all hanging out about there and Catherine was just in the doorway. William eventually joined her. And then the first thing they did was greet those people over there. And I kind of figured, cause they're right there. And I've seen Royals, like they kind of sometimes tend to greet the people that are right next to them. And I totally understand that. And then all of a sudden they kind of walk away and, and you can tell they're, they're like, okay, the real walkabout is about to start. And so they had a little chat, which I managed to catch a bit of. Um, let's see if we can get to those pictures here. And those pictures ended up not being as good as I wanted them to be. I think the sun came out. And so the settings didn't quite work anymore. That's kind of what happens um, <laughs> occasionally. So they kind of started coming back this way. And we were like, okay, which direction were they going to go in? That was the huge question. Where were they going to go? And, you know, you're always hoping, oh gosh, come right to us. But they didn't. <laughs> but Catherine went down my line. So they're, 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 the road curved a bit and it kind of went down right in front of the pub. And so she went right in front of the pub. That's kind of actually the second door is kind of where she started her walkabout. And I had debated going over there because I really thought they would go up and down the stairs and like we'd get this great stair shot or something. And that just didn't happen. But we got to see Catherine down the line and she was, you know, we knew they were going to get to us. We knew that for sure. They, we knew she was going to get to us. Eventually, you just had to be patient. Just had to be patient. And I luckily, again, I'm trying to be a pseudo professional-ish photographer style person. So I did have a kickstand um, or a step stool or whatever you want to call it. And so um, although some of these didn't turn out as crisp in the image as I want th wanted them to on her face, sometimes her security card was more in focus. Um, I did was able to get on this stool and stand and get pictures of her above the crowd. Again, those step stool things are incredible. <laughs> they really do help, especially when you're shorter, because you'll see those people with their hands up in the pictures. So if you're far, if you're the third person back, you're not seeing anything with those people in their hands up. You're, you're just not. So, um, and there was this guy though, that was giving me a hard time about using my stand. I'm like, I'm only five, six. I'm not even that tall. And the stand is like, you know, it's like 10 inches. Maybe it's not even that tall. And it was really nice because the guy next to me, he was later, he was like, that guy was so rude to you. And I was like, thank you. I didn't feel like I was being that obnoxious. And it's like, I got here at eight in the morning. I'm sorry, but I do want to get my picture because, you know, I use it for this channel and stuff. So it was just really important to me to get get the pictures that I wanted. And so she came by and she was getting closer. And as she got closer, it's like your heart starts pounding because it's like, oh my gosh, she's getting so close. And I heard her chat with the ladies next to me. They were from Brazil. And so she started chatting with them. And I think I caught a little bit of it. So let me see. I tried to upload it as a short earlier and it just did not want to upload for whatever reason. And so, and she was just right next to me. I made the decision and it's something again, that you always kind of wonder, Oh, did I do the right thing? Cause I kind of thought, well, maybe I should have maybe just maybe, um, <laughs> taken more pictures of her with my nice camera up close, but I still think that you guys will really, really enjoy this. So, um, let me go ahead and pull it up. If you've been on my socials, you've probably seen it already, but if you haven't, We'll go ahead and play it. So I'll be quiet and put, turn my volume up and you guys can listen in. So here we go. What are you going to do? Yeah. No, so you work it out. It is. <laughs> it's really great. It's so nice to see all the fun stuff to go up. And yeah, 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 I am absolutely slightly nervous as well. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot. It's very nice to meet you. Yeah, nice Hope you enjoy it. I was just saying, make sure you find yourself an umbrella because it might rain. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, only in the best, best of British way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. yes. you can manage. <laughs> <laughs> can you do it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I hope you guys like that. She is really very, very sweet in person. Very, very kind. Very trying to accommodate, especially with the people who wanted selfie requests. And I love that they're doing that now because, again, that gives you like that extra little bit of something. 
something. And I, and you can actually hear me laugh. And I think I say something on, 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 on that a bit. So I was just so excited to be like right there next to her. And she looks exactly in person. Like she does in pictures. She is really, really beautiful. Again, the outfit was gorgeous. I love the red, red really pops on her really, really well. And so, um, I didn't get to chat with her too much but I did get to shake her hand. And then I asked her one time for a selfie and she, I don't know if she didn't hear me. I'm sure she probably didn't hear me. And then I asked her again and she was like, Oh yeah, of course. Cause she has already started to move down a bit, but I really wanted my selfie because <laughs> I was like, cause that I could put it on like profile though. That would just be great. And I've waited all this time and I just really wanted it. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and ask. And she was kind enough, kind enough to accommodate my request. And so we just got this absolutely lovely, lovely selfie, which kind of funny too, is that I actually have a second one because I always like take double pictures. And so she's like already moving away in the second one. But I just, I'm so excited about this picture. Can't even tell you how excited I am. It was just something so fun. I would love to go and meet so many different Royals. And this is not something I was exactly maybe anticipating. I was just kind of hoping, hoping, hoping it would be something that happened. I was just really, really hoping that I would be able to see her and just be able to interact because that's just so cool. Cause it's like, I try to report on Royals. I try to share on Royals. And it's just something where also as well as I tried to build up you know, my credentials and everything. I think going there and meeting them is, is important to that. So I was just really excited that um, I was able to do that. And not only did that happen, but many of you may or may not have seen, I made a ton of daily mailing news because that picture I'm going to try to find it on Getty Images. Chris Jackson happened to take my picture of me getting the selfie while I also posted my own selfie. So I think because I have a bigger ish profile and I happened to snap the picture and then I also happened to um, post the picture relatively quickly, like it went crazy viral. And like, I kept people having people image me going, Oh my gosh, it's on the daily mail. And it's like, you're on the, like the front page of the daily mail, which was really, really crazy. Cause I'm like, Oh my gosh, I don't look my best. And so I'm just like, Oh man, I wish I'd like lost that 10 pounds before I went on this trip. I'll totally, totally admit that. But it was still super, super gorgeous. Cause I'll have that picture forever. And then I'll have the Chris Jackson picture too. Sorry. I'm trying to find it right now. Um, and it was just like, oh my gosh, the Chris Jackson. Cause I, he's actually taken my picture. This is like actually the technically the second time he's taken my picture. Cause he took actually my picture in Boston as well, but I had my big camera in the way. <laughs> so he couldn't, he didn't really get my face, but this one I feel like is just like so perfect. I'm like going to spend the money. I almost bought it from um, a different news agency, but I think the Getty one is better and it's, it's not it's not cheap. That's kind of why, again, it's like pricey. I want to say like a big image is like $500. Like it's not cheap at all, which is why, although I love a lot of the images Getty produces, like I don't buy them because I'm like, they're really, really pretty expensive. So I'm trying to find out where, where I am. And my photos on there twice was just so exciting to like get the selfie and all right, let's get it. And um, so we're going to remove this one and put, well, I should have done them side by side and we have, there we are. So Chris Jackson took my picture of me taking a picture with Catherine. Like, that's just crazy to me. That's just so, so crazy. And it's just something too, it's like, she looks fabulous. And it's just like, also if somebody goes, well, did you, did you Photoshop that? I'm going, no, I have an actual one from Getty right here that shows that not only did we meet and interact very briefly, but I got to take my picture with her as well. So I haven't put it up as my profile stuff yet, um, but it's been so, so amazing. And then obviously they started going further on down the line and I just hung out there a little bit and I tried to maybe follow them a smidge. And, but of course the crowd is just like crazy. And I got up a bit on my step stool again and was able to get a bit of, I think a video as they were leaving, 
But, um, but yeah, I was like, I, I was like shaking after I was done. I was like, cause it's like, you don't want to imposition anyone, or at least I don't, but I'm like, I, I came all this way and I really want my picture. <laughs> so, um, I, I went ahead and yeah, it, it ended up working out really well. I did see somebody said, I actually like the Getty picture better. I, I, I do actually, I think I would be more excited maybe to frame that one because the lighting's just a smidge better. Um, but it's really cool because you can see both of our faces, which I think is awesome. And you can also see too, I think she put her um, hand on my arm or maybe my shoulder or something, or maybe she was just holding the, the barrier. I'm not sure, but she was really cute. Cause somebody, she said, she's like, when it came to selfies, she's like, I get too close. <laughs> she's like, I'm so sorry. I, I tend to get very close, which I thought was so, so sweet. And I just wanted to as well, make sure like I gave eye contact. I, I took, you know, don't, you know, get the picture with my shades on because, you know, you want to be able to interact with somebody. And I don't totally either want it to be something where I'm videoing her the whole time. Cause I want it to be that personal interaction. Cause sometimes like people just shove the camera in their face the whole time. And not that I didn't obviously put a camera in her face. I did, but um, I just wanted it to be like an authentic personal interaction. And again, she's very lovely, unbelievably sweet. She comes across as a very, very sweet, sweet person. And so I am excited at one point to go ahead and hang out with her more at some point. Not really, but like, I want to cover more real engagements. Like I'm on the lookout. If something happens again this week while I'm still here, I'll probably go and, you know, track them down. Um, and so I, I will go ahead probably and do that because I planned on doing that more because then I can give you guys that personal experience. It's not somebody going, yeah, they seem really sweet. It's like, from what I could tell, they were really sweet. William did not come over to my side when we were interacting. I think further down the line, they ended up being on the same side for a bit. Um, so I did see him briefly. Oh, and I will say, you know, people wonder if she's she's tall. She is. Um, but I don't think she was, she's not like 5'11 tall. I think the 5'8, five, 5'9 five, is, is probably about right. Her heels weren't like incredibly tall because I didn't like check out her shoes and like, it's just so exciting. And I just want to um, like, you know, take it all in. Unfortunately, it's like too, it's just like so exciting. It's like, do I remember everything? I'm not sure. But um, it was definitely an experience I will never forget. And you know, I hope it's something that doesn't get old, but at the same time, it would be really cool if I can be there and be like, oh, yes, I, you know, have all this put together and it was amazing. So I will just say right now, it was an awesome, awesome experience. And so I'm so excited that I get to share it with you guys. I really do kind of a, a long discussion thing, but I just thought it would be really fun to just share like my whole thing, what it's like. And so if you ever want to do something like this, go in Royal Engagement, they've announced it. It's in your hometown. Again, I would say even if it's early, get there early. Don't drink too much water because you don't want to be there at hour three and realize you need to go to the restroom. Sometimes you can be there like an hour or two before and get a perfectly good spot. Um, sometimes not. And it because it all Again, it all depends. And a lot of it is luck. Be totally honest. Some of it's just luck. It depends on if they want to do it. This one was different because they were saying they wanted us to do a walkabout. That was a big point of why they were going. And I felt like, again, at the end, it was like the true intention was to do the walkabout. So and just to get to interact with the public, which I thought was amazing. And also as well, get as close to whatever the front of the barrier is. That way you don't have anybody in your way. And if not, and if you're being really, really ambitious, you can get a stool like I did. So I could, you can stand on it <laughs> and get above the crowds a little bit. But if you know you're going to be late and probably going to, that's going to be a must. And, but of course, you know, go in there just willing to have fun, chat with people, interact with people, because it is fun to meet people who are also really big into worlds because not everybody is. And that's totally and completely fine. And it's just a time to have fun because it's like, I wouldn't stand outside for like, probably a lot of concerts, but I'll stand outside in the cold and wait for this. Cause to me, this is just really, really fun. Um, and it was kind of funny having people walk by because they were like, what's going on. And I always said, well, Will and Kate are coming. And if they gave me a somewhat blank face, I said the Prince and Princess of Wales, just to make sure they all knew it's the Prince and Princess of Wales is coming. Um, and so, and some people were like, cool. And other people were like, so you could tell there were just some different reactions to it. So I thought that was kind of 
fun and interesting. And it was just like, oh, that's, that's nice. It's lovely. So I, I enjoyed all of it. I just thought it was just so, 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 so fun. And I just can't wait to do it again. And so I'll go here. I did see a lot of people gave tips and I didn't get to everybody. And I wanted to get if there's some questions too, I'll try to go back through the feed and see if I can pull out things that people have mentioned or said or questions, because I'm sure you guys do it, because I would too, because like, what is it like? And again, it's really fun. And I, and I would not say this strongly enough, make sure you know who some of the staff members are, because you may see them before you see anybody else. And so, um, so yeah, so that's, that's kind of what I've noticed, at least for me. So, um, <laughs> and then, so we have Melissa, is she as gorgeous in person? She is, she really is very beautiful, I would say. Um, I, I just thought she was gorgeous. And, you know, she has that statu statuesqueness and she is so tiny. I so like envy her right now. I was like on this trip going, oh my gosh, I've gained so much weight. I need to lose weight. Um, but so it wasn't to me because like, especially when I gain weight, I gain it in my face and I just don't look good in pictures or as good as I could look in pictures. I've noticed. So I was a little bit, a little, bit, <laughs> a little bit disappointing. And yeah, definitely but it was definitely lovely. Oh, Wendy, thank you so much for the super sticker. Just trying to go through all oh, Graham Graham seven. Oh my goodness. So happy for you. Thank you. I'm, it was so exciting. It really was. <laughs> yeah. Um, so MJ LJ saw you on daily mail. Congrats. Job well done. Yeah. My photo showed up a lot on the daily mail. So I feel like I'm Daily Mail famous. And tomorrow I'm going to look through the Daily Mail and see if I actually made the print edition. If I made the print edition, oh, little party time, because that would be so cool. Because like in in um, journalism and, and writing and everything, it's publisher parish. That's kind of the, the running running thing. Oh, Amira, thank you so much for the super sticker as well. You are so kind. So this is a good question. I, I do address this quite a bit because I get this a lot. As a member of the Commonwealth, why, why do people still refer to Her Royal Highness Princess Catherine as Kate Middleton? It's an algorithm thing. So people do call her that. And some of it, especially in titles of journal articles, is just an algorithm thing. The Google algorithm is, is kind of something that builds over time. And Kate Middleton was original name and it kept that way for 10 years. And so it's really hard for the algorithm to change. And then if you think about it as well, the algorithm is, algorithm will change again when she becomes Queen Catherine. And so really at the end of the day, it's good to almost wait until she's there to fully embrace it because otherwise the, the algorithm is going to be confused. It still thinks Princess of Wales is Diana because Diana was the Princess of Wales for so long. So it just, again, does take a while for the system to kind of update. So that's just something good to know. TMC, thank you so much for the super sticker. And then we have Puddle Jumper. Woohoo, finally made it to a live reading from a former Londoner now living in Auckland, New Zealand. Love your channel. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> um, can anyone please share which channel is broadcasting the coronation and these visits? So it's pretty much every major channel, at least in the United States. I'm not sure where you're, you're located at. And then they also probably have the BBC, ITV, Sky News will probably have a live stream. That's what I did for the Queen's funeral. And then they also have the Royal Family Channel will also be streaming it live. Um, I could technically sign up to stream it live, but I'll be trying to be on the mall to get pictures and videos for myself. So th that just wouldn't work. And I don't know if I have everything for it. Um, it's, it's complicated again. <laughs> it's all those technical things. Uh, Lee Coin Lifestyle, thank you so much for the super sticker. So glad you could join. Uh, Darren Gallo, so pleased for you, lovely lady. Why, thank you. It was a lovely, amazing day. I'm just like living the high right now live in the high. Um, Wendy said, can she possibly be as beautiful close up in person as she is in pictures? How exciting for you. She is, she is really, really pretty. And it's like, almost like, Oh, I wish I like, cause it's just, you're just so excited. It's like, Oh, do I remember every detail? Probably not, but hopefully I will get to meet her again someday. That is the plan. That is the plan. And maybe have at some point have a conversation because she had had a conversation with the people next to me and then moving on. And so I know she has to go and do her thing. But I wanted my wanted, if I couldn't get anything, I really, you know, have a long conversation. I really wanted I really wanted the selfie. Um, oh, Shonda, thank you so much for the super sticker. And oh, Lily, very sweet. So proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. I was I was really excited. I was really excited. Um, oh, Lady Jane says, I just crying with joy for you. Yes, thank you. I mean, I really want to see 
and meet all the royal ladies. I really do. Um, I've seen Maxima in person just from a great distance, which is where I first learned about the whole phone, everything going up and not seeing anything thing. And so I'm really, really hoping. Um, I'm going to go tomorrow. My plan is tomorrow is to try to get some pictures maybe of the arrivals for the reception. They may all be in buses, so that may not be possible. But I'm going to try or maybe go to the hotels where they're staying at or something like that because I'd love to get pictures of some of the foreign royal ladies, especially if people are wearing tiaras. I don't think they are, unfortunately, but still want that. Oh, Linda, hey, thank you so much for the super sticker. And then we also have Aram. Hello, Brittany from Mexico. I follow your channel from the start. You totally deserved to meet Kat, Princess Catherine. Thank you. I don't know if anybody deserves to meet her, but she is still so lovely, I think. She's still so lovely. All right, Coca Doctor, did you see Posey targeting you on Twitter? Yeah, I just I just try to ignore him. Um, he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> I mean, he's going to do it anyway. So I got to have my fun. So that's all I'm concentrating on. And so um, let's see. <laughs> Lynette asks, do you think there's any chance Harry won't come to, um, with a new lawsuit that Heritage is suing about the U.S. and visa fraud? Um, I, I probably won't go into that too much right now because I just want to keep it on Catherine and the coronation. But, you know, I mean, probably not. I don't think there's many U.S. options for that. Um, Mrs. H, so pleased to see that your photo today. You both looked gorgeous. Oh, thank you. She looked gorgeous. I don't know about me. I, I, yeah, I probably should. My mom was like, you need to make sure you do your makeup. <laughs> Like, okay, I'm glad I did because I almost didn't, didn't do it. So, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Brittany. Did you take a video with this picture? I didn't. That would have been such a good idea. I didn't. I, you know, it's just something where you're just so excited that you're you're just you're just kind of everywhere. Um, and it's just hard. It's, I think actually the more times you do it, the more relaxed you'll get and the easier it'll become. But yeah. <laughs> uh, Peeper Jean. You both are so gorgeous. What a beautiful photo. So happy for, for slash jealous of you. Thank you so much. You are so kind. You are so kind because Catherine looked so, so much better than me. Uh, um, DK, did you curtsy to Catherine? I did not. So uh, as an American, I'm just don't, I would have curtsied to the queen, I think, just as a respect for her long, long standing history of um, serving the the country and the, her country and the Commonwealth and just, you know, her legacy to the world. But I just don't think I would curtsy to any other royal because I'm an American and we don't have a royal family. Even though one wants to think they are, they are not. <laughs> so that is my stance there. Becky, thank you so much for this super sticker. But you always treat everybody with respect. And if I talked to her, I would have said your royal highness, it, you know, and, the, and those sorts of things. I would have, um, you know, it's not that you just go, hey, Kate. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure some people would do that. But I would call her her royal highness, princess, those sorts of things. That's what I would refer to her as because that is her name. And I think that's... Um, definitely respectful there because you treat everybody with respect. That's just the, even if people don't treat you the same way, take the high road every time. You'll be so much better. Um, <laughs> Sharon says, Brittany, this is so exciting. I feel like jumping on a plane and going over there right now. Oh, I know. Is it so exciting? It's so exciting. Yay. Um, so yeah, it's just, it was like thrilled because it's like I've been following Royals. I followed William and Catherine pretty closely after their wedding and the rest of the Royals. And so, um, yeah, so much. Monique asked, did you, did you ask if she will wear a tiara? No, I thought of a question to ask her and I think it completely blanked, but I think it was something to the effect of, you know, are you excited for the coronation? How's the prep going? How was the rehearsal with the kids? Somebody else ended up asking her that. So, um, I, I did not ask her that though. Um, I pretty much, shook her hand and asked again, I had to ask twice because I don't think she heard me the first time. And I was like, you really want my selfie. So oh, AJ Judd says, so thrilled for you. It couldn't have happened to a nicer world correspondent in the making. Thank you. Yes. It's, it's something where it's like just building and building and it's just so lovely to see. Crystal Garcia is so excited that you got to meet the Prince of Wales. Does she know who you were? No, she probably did not. And I was okay with that because I didn't want if she like really thought I was a journalist to like clam up or be nervous or something. Um, because it's like, again, I, I not all journalists are like this, but it's like there's a time to interview and a time to interact with a person as a person. And there's a time, you know, for um, like if you're if you're trying to for example, if you're going undercover or something, that, that might be an opportunity. But um, for me, it's like I kind of see always saw my channel as two different tracks. There's a commentary I do 
And then there's a reporting that I'm able to do. Obviously, I kind of mix the two because I feel like that's where a lot of news outlets are going. But I think that the key thing is I always let you know where my biases lie. <laughs> so I'm not telling you that I'm telling you um, something that's completely unbiased when it's really not. So that's that's kind of where I, I stand on those kind of things, if that makes sense. So that way, hey, if you don't think I'm saying the right thing, go look it up for yourself and then you can come to your own conclusion. And that's completely fine, because that is, I think, the a better foundation for like democracy freedom or something is that, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. I'm not going to force you to adopt my opinion if you don't want to. Um, so yeah. So yeah. <laughs> uh, Pearl's vase said, so happy for you meeting the princess. Catherine must've been a dream country. It really was. It really was. And then uh, Latafi says you are the headline front page in the daily mail online. I know which is so crazy. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> um, show uh, showed you asked, did you pledge your uh, fidelity to the crown? I did not. Again, as an American, we fought a war 250 years ago over this issue. I love royals. I support royals. I hope all the royal families survive, even though this the tr struggle with modernity is real. Um, I just hope they all survive. That'll be a complicated process. Like, is Charles slimming down the monarchy? Will that work in the long run or not? I'm not sure. Because compared to some of his neighbors, like in Scandinavia, the, the, the territory the UK has to cover is so much larger than most of those countries that have slimmed down to basically just the direct heirs. So I think Charles has a difficult thing to navigate, which actually Princess Anne pointed out as well. So <laughs> Virginia, Vir Virginie says, Royal News Network, there are two pictures of you on the Daily Mail website. Yes, there are so many pictures. So, oh, I was looking for you in the video of the Royal Family Channel. Oh, I should have checked there. I haven't checked there yet. Um, if I'm there, that's so awesome. If not, that's fine. I was on a lot of other things. People were so kind to send me screenshots. I really do appreciate it. It was amazing. Um, Mala, thank you so much for the super sticker. You are so kind. All right. <laughs> Somebody asked, did I get a photo with William? I did not because he didn't come to our side. And by the time, again, like the, the mosh pit moves with them. So you get people like once they move past you, it's like, oh, my gosh, I can breathe again because the mosh pit just follows them down the way from the people who were perhaps not able to get the shot they wanted or, you know, hoping maybe there's an opportunity. I was kind of hoping towards like the end of the like I could get to the end and like still see them. But no, that was not possible. <laughs> It was just too hard to get through and everything. And once they got in their car, it's like uh, everybody's like, oh, OK, like everything relaxed and everybody started moving. So um, <laughs> uh, Paul said, welcome to the UK. Wonderful photo of you both. What lovely girls you are. Thank you. Thank you. That's so sweet. Uh, Pia says, oh, my goodness. I'm so excited for you. Woohoo! Yes, it was a thrilling moment. Again, my heart was pounding. I was like shaking. It was crazy. All right, uh, Daisy Cooper, does anyone have the link to the Daily Mail article? Congrats, Britt. Um, if you go to, yeah, Daily Mail, it should be, and like, I think they have a Royal tab now. It's on, it's like in like every article <laughs> about this visit, I think. So um, that's just, that's just fun. Uh, so yeah, it's just so, 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 so fun. All right. Okay, so we'll go down here. Oh, Robin, thank you so much for the tip. You are so kind and you said so happy for you. Thank you for sharing your enthusiasm with everyone else. Hope you can continue to get some great pictures. Thank you. I'm really, really hoping to get some great pictures tomorrow for the reception. But again, it all depends on how they come in. So do they come in a big bus or individual cars? I think they'll be buses though. And I do wonder too, because I'd love to get like a picture of Catherine coming in with like a tiara or something. Again, probably not going to happen, but you know, a girl can dream, right? Um, that's, <laughs> that's what I like to think. Um, Snow Queen said, I'm English and live in Canada. I'm so happy you were able to watch all the excitement through you and others. How exciting that you got to meet and have a picture with the princess Catherine. Yes, I think it was so, so exciting. Like, I'm hoping next time I come up with a better angle. I almost asked her, hey, can you give me some tips with my camera? Because she's so good at it. I don't know if she uses a Canon or not, though. So um, Paul says your mom is going to be happy for you, especially when she realizes you made the national newspaper. Yeah, it's yeah. They, I think my dad sent it first, which was kind of funny. Um, is DMH Harry's wife in disguise? I have no idea, and I wouldn't think so. Um, so let's go ahead. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry. I don't have moderators and 
and this was kind of a last minute thing. Maybe I should have because people just enjoy dragging on others sometimes. When Why can't we all agree to disagree and have fun? I think that's the best way to go. Oh my goodness, Alexa says, I'm so jealous. You got a selfie with Princess of Wales. Absolutely amazing. Yes, yes, yes. You are the bomb. I know in 1980s, but this is so exciting. It is so exciting. It is. Um, <laughs> Aussie Bush and Beach Walk says, congratulations. What a dream come true for you. Well done. Your hard work and dedication has paid off getting to meet um, Catherine, Princess of Wales, such a beautiful photo of you both. Thank you. Yes, it took a while. And <coughs> excuse me. And again, I have stood in the cold and the rain. And so it was just like it's so exciting to have something like finally, finally come together. Um, just because I just was really hoping. And it was just so nice that there was nobody in my way. Because again, I was like, thought I got the perfect like angle of them for earth shot because I could see the background that they would stand in front of. But what I didn't anticipate is the 20 people who stood right where my camera angle was that I did not anticipate. <laughs> so this felt like, oh, finally, hard work, dedication, standing for hours finally paid off. Um, <laughs> Majestic Psychology says, wow, Brittany, you are as beautiful as a princess. Oh, I'm really not. But thank you, though. Uh, how exciting for you to meet her. Thank you. Yes, it was very, very exciting. Again, super, super kind, super, super kind. So uh, so, so it was so, so blessed to meet her. Brittany, stalking you from New Zealand. I was excited to wake up and see your pics in the Daily Mail. It is easy, just a thumbnail. I had to zoom in and I'm over the moon for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, it's been so, so amazing. Um, Sharon said, Brittany, I wish you could see me now because I'm grinning ear to ear. Great job. Thank you. Thank you again. So, so amazing. Yeah, sorry. I was, I'm sorry. I was looking at a comment about a troll trying to find things, but um, sometimes I, I talked for a while and obviously the thread got kind of long, but yeah, feel free to, um, but like be kind always. I always want the live streams to be a kind place and there's people who are not kind. Yes, but kindness is key here. And we can all agree to disagree about certain things, but kindness is key. Um, Kids Relevant says nothing and nobody will distract me. Ms. Brittany from her excitement. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Don't let, don't let negativity pull you down guys. Always. I'm always a glass half full type of person. Hello, Brittany. I love your channel. I'm finally caught up with your videos. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> Michelle, hi from South Africa. I saw a clip of the event on YouTube called the King's Guards and I actually saw you getting a selfie with Catherine in the clip. How awesome is that? Yes. I'm like, there's not only photographic evidence, but video evidence that I have, you know, Chris Jackson took my pictures and yes, Jenny said, copyright your pictures. Yes. So I have a watermark on my images. Um, I put a couple of them on Twitter and Instagram and they had the watermark over them and they are kind of big, but the point is, is so that people can crop them out. I actually probably should have put one on the video too, because I've seen people sharing that. Um, and not that I don't mind people sharing and using the stuff. That's fine. But you just want to make sure people are attributing to, you know, it to me. And it's like, I worked really hard to get those pictures. <laughs> so, um, and, you know, honestly, as I mean, I use images from Getty and stuff as well, but I'm trying to make sure that, that um, I, I just set things up well. <laughs> uh, DKS says, did you miss your soulmate? Was the guy single? The, the one with the daughter named Kate? No, no, I no. He was still, he's still happily married to his wife. Um, and so they, they live in the States. So she's coming tomorrow actually. So she was very, very bummed though, not to miss out on meeting Catherine, but I think there'll be more engagements with the big lunch and the big help out. So again, I will be poised to follow those. Cause I just don't know about the concert. If, I just don't know if I'll be able to see anything. I just really don't. Um, because it just depends. Like Catherine and William live in Windsor now. Although I think they're in Kensington Palace right now because I went to Kensington Palace later in the day because I wanted to see the Crown to Couture show. And there was a police car in front. And I had stayed at a hotel near Kensington Palace um, a couple months ago. And so I had never seen a police car like in front of the drive. So I think, I mean, there's just a general increase in security because of everything going on. But in addition, you also have, I think Catherine and William are actually currently at Kensington Palace. And because of that, there is an increased police presence in the area. Um, agree, you need to stop calling her Kate Middleton now. She deserves to be called Princess Catherine. No harm meant. No harm meant, but the algorithm rewards Kate Middleton, not Princess Catherine. Sorry to say. So 
<laughs> that's just kind of how it goes. Because I've tried that a couple times and just the videos don't do quite as well. Um, where can we watch? So this is from Priyanka. Brittany, where can we watch the broadcast here in the States? So pretty much every major news channel. So we have CNN, MSNBC, Fox, and then ABC, CBS, NBC. We'll all be covering it. We also have, you can also stream anything from like Sky News to BBC. Um, I will say most of them probably won't know anything beyond the major family members of the royal family. They usually get confused about everybody else. Uh, so if you're looking for really dedicated royal coverage about who's who, they probably won't know which is kind of why it's like, I would love to be a royal commentator because then I could tell you who the other people are because they're cool too, but nobody ever knows them. So, um, or at least I feel like, I mean, a lot of people do, but a lot of people in the news media do not. <laughs> um, so, um, so I'm so happy for you, Brittany, as you genuinely like the whales. I do, I do. I think they're fabulous. I'd love to see them more. Actually, interesting, the guy I was chatting with, he knows the, the council general in Boston and he said, that um, Catherine and William were lovely when they were there in Boston. And um, that is interesting is that they have a bit more downtime than some of the other royals do, which I thought was kind of interesting for him to say that. Because I guess the queen, you know, they just want to jam pack the schedules. And Catherine and William want um, a little bit more of, of um, a balance, which I think is a good thing, especially with their kids. I'm hoping they go to Australia this year with the kids. That's what I'm really hoping because I want to go to Australia. Did you wear your RNN press swag? I, I did wear my shirt today, but I, I get, my hair probably kind of covered it up a bit. I kind of wish I had put it like, like pulled my hair back because everybody got the picture and it went everywhere and more people might know about my channel. So, um, but yeah. Oh, uh, Dominic says you should try to sell these. They are really professional. Thank you. I'm going to see maybe to submitting them to Shutterstock. But last time I tried that, they told me that unless I had press credentials, they wouldn't accept them. Cause I tried to do that for Boston. Um, so uh, Christy Fox said, what is Catherine like in person? She's very, very sweet. And I think she genuinely wants to interact with people and answer their questions. I think she has a really good grasp on Royals in the way that yes, they're interested in her, but they're also interested in what made her the princess of Wales, which is the crown. And so she sees herself, I think as a diplomat for the crown. And so she interacts with the public in just a very, very kind and genuine way, I think. And she wants to, obviously she wants to answer some of their questions, but she can't answer everything. Like there's a delicate balance, I think, of giving people that small amount of insight without giving away too much. Apparently she was that if she was wearing a tiara and she was very non-committal on the subject. So I'm like, oh, could you just let us know? I love it. And then I wanted to do a whole video on what I thought she would wear. I don't know if I'll get to it. Actually, tomorrow I may try to get some things filmed and edited because I don't really have anything for tomorrow morning. And um, I, I I think definitely she'll wear Alexander McQueen. I know a lot of people have put forth Jenny Packham, but every big, big event that she's had has been Alexander McQueen. And I don't think that will change. Although I think she's every Jenny Packham dress she's worn has always been absolutely smashing. So I kind of almost wish, I mean, I almost wish that she just rewore her, uh, the dress she wore recently to the state dinner with South Africa. I thought that dress was fabulous. Um, but the other option I thought, which would be super, super cool is if she somehow refashioned her wedding reception dress that I think if she could do that for the coronation, I would think chef's kiss. That would be wonderful. Um, Oh, Lorraine, thank you so much. Your hard work and dedication is amazing and pays off. Thank you. <laughs> Jenny Lee says, Boozy says you have a Megan hate account. Ha ha ha. She's so very jealous of you and to be ready for the hate. Yeah, it's kind of funny because you'd have to scroll down a while on my Twitter feed to find something about Megan. And actually, one time I, I had a little criticism of Catherine and that thing blew up. And so um, not crazily, but it's like, but yeah, he's kind of interesting. So yeah. But I try to avoid all that. I don't like drama. Don't want to get into it. That's just not my thing. Um, so, yeah. Oh, Alice, thank you so much for the tip. You are so sweet. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Um, <laughs> oh, Lisa says, finally, you have this moment. What a time to have it during the week, of the coronation. Yes, yes. So I think that is super, super good to do. And again, so, so great and gracious to have that little opportunity to just shake her hand and give her a smile and get a selfie. 
Uh, Brittany, what did the princess say? This is so exciting. Well, I um, I didn't get a chance to talk with her too much, but, you know, she said, you know, she was a bit nervous about the whole coronation bit, and she told us to all be um, aware and ready for rain. So bring an umbrella is, I think, what she said when she was chatting with um, <laughs> the the people next to us. I like this. Did you offer her, her your lip gloss? No. Well, A, I didn't have any, and I should have because, um, yeah. Yeah for a different reason, but, uh, yeah, no, I would never offer anybody else. A lip gloss. <laughs> no, no. Even if they asked for it, even if she was the one who asked for it, probably not. I'm just going to be totally honest. I, I'd have to really twist my arm and have to be new. Cause I, yeah. Um, <laughs> Lily J says after you, after watching various videos of this event, and it is amazing to see this great picture of the two of you. So few people got to shake their hand. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, it's not too many people did. And so it's just so, so wonderful and amazing. Oh, Holly says, recognize you right away on the Daily Mail this morning. It must have been so thrilling to get that selfie and other photos. Good for you. Yes, thank you. I mean, I was so glad to get the selfie, but to have Chris Jackson get that picture too, and then have that get uploaded to the Daily Mail and like have that cross that cross of stuff was just like incredible. I'm like, oh my gosh, I could not ask for anything better. Could not ask for anything better. Oh, we have um, Josanne from, hi from Trinidad. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, kids relevant. Yes, Brittany tends to ignore the trolls fam, but block them anyways. Yeah, there's somebody who's like getting too much. Of course you can do that. Um, so, but yeah, so yeah, I try to ignore because don't give them any ammunition. That's my thought. Always be positive. Yay. Okay. Um, June says, eek, how exciting for you. Is she as beautiful in person as she appears online? Thank you so much for the tip. And yes, yes, she is. She is absolutely beautiful. I just thought she looked amazing. I was just so thrilled to be there. Um, <laughs> Ocean Cat, do you travel with anyone or is this a solo project? I probably should answer that just in case because there are um, obviously I've seen a bit on Twitter that's been a little crazy. So I will leave that silent. I hope you all know why. So, um, so we'll go down here. And I think I saw that one earlier. So sorry, I'm just trying to go through and seeing if there's any, any, um, other questions. Oh, Sharon, thank you so much for the super sticker. You are so sweet. Um, the picture is perfect. The group one. Yeah, there's so many great pictures from there. I think it's amazing. Um, Brittany, this is great. Your enthusiasm is contagious. Yay. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are all excited too. This is fun, y'all. This is fun. I think Royals are so fun and they they combine like gossip and history and fashion is just, it's, and jewelry, amazing jewelry. I won't have time cause we went long already, but I got a bunch of pictures, um, from the crown to couture, exhibit although i will say some of it frustrated me because it's like they put i thought it was going to be like in a separate part of the palace but it was actually in front of actually all the historic stuff and the beyonce outfit was in front of a, a throne and i thought i don't know if i like that because again it's like that thing where it's like you want the royals to be kind of niche and interesting yet at the same time you don't want them to seem like everybody else and that's kind of the danger is like well Beyonce could sit on the throne, but it was amazing to see Blake Lively's Met dress in person. So if you haven't seen that dress, it is incredible to see in person. It's gorgeous. So, so utterly gorgeous. It was amazing. Um, and so I love that dress. I love Blake Lively's. I don't like everything she wears, but she, she is somebody who has her own sense of fashion and it evolves, but she always wears, I think what she wants. And she looks incredible. One of my favorite outfits of her though, is that she has just it's just like a, it's just a, like a tan outfit. It's like different colors of brown and, um, and kind of neutral colors. And then she has these massive solitaire emerald earrings. And that's one of my favorite things ever. I like, so want to recreate that, but I can't buy giant emeralds. So yeah, that's going to be a pipe dream there. <laughs> Brittany, I saw you with the princess on a YouTube video and in a tweet. Yes. So much so much. I'm almost surprised I haven't gotten a message from somebody going, Hey, I saw you on the news. <laughs> I mean, I've gotten a lot of messages from you guys, but people I know in my, my personal life yet, but I, I don't think probably everybody 
everybody stocks the Daily Mail as, as like I do because the Daily Mail is one of the first things I look at. Ha, hi, Brittany, Karen Miller. Check out Royal Insider News. You and Catherine are in this video. Oh my gosh, so much, so much. It's so exciting. It's so crazy exciting. Um, so Hillary says, after you talk about the amazing pick with Catherine, can we talk a little bit about the Markle family interview? Um, you know what? We'll do that in another time. I kind of want to, again, focus this whole week on the coronation and what's going on there. Um, I haven't had a chance to watch the interview yet. And again, I just want to focus it on this exciting stuff. Cause to me, that's, that's more exciting for right now. So we'll get back to that. I think at another point. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting. So Marissa says, I love the fact that you came across the world to see them and they were so gracious so many celebrities here in the u.s refused to even sign autographs yes i think the royals do an exceptional job of i mean this is part of their pr is to be in front of people and interact with them and so if they can do that then i think that's great and so and i like the fact that they're doing selfies more i think that is a good thing um but i saw this mia major said emily it must be andrews once said this is why royal family have policy for of not posing for selfies and walk about you have no idea who's taking the pic with you and how they will use it in the pic thought i mean that is true that is true but you also have to be careful like so many people do selfies anymore and i think it does come across as a bit warmer to do obviously you don't know how somebody will use and twist something but I'm not trying to use it in twist. Like there's a part of me that really wants to put it on as my, my icon, but at the same time, um, my, my, I want my channel to be about news and that feels like something more personal. I do technically have a personal Twitter for like, for like Royal things that would be just under me. Cause I had planned at some point to kind of separate a bit and have the Royal news network Twitter be mostly news. And then, um, and some commentary and then some other commentary would be on that separate account just because I want to, there's like a whole grand vision behind what hopefully will one day be World's news network more officially. Um, Elizabeth V said, Brittany, I saw a news article that said you can't bring chairs or stools to the coordination. Just double check before I drag it down there Saturday. Have a great time. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so it is, it is small. It doesn't give me much height. So I don't think it'll be too bad. But I mean, really, you can't, you can't see anything if you don't get on a stool. It's if you're not right in front. You really can't see a gosh darn thing. The, the difficult thing, too, will be if there's a bunch of umbrellas. That'll be a challenge, too. Um, could you smell her perfume? No, I can't actually smell very well. Believe it or not, last night, I actually could not breathe at all. Um, pretty much, at least through my nose. Because uh, I was so, I have allergies and I have sinus issues and stuff. And those were just flaring up last night. And I even took Benadryl, which usually, like, knocks me out. And, you know, allows me to breathe easier. And it did not. So, um, my ability to smell things is really limited. <laughs> so, so sorry to disappoint. Um, if I ever get my mom in front of Catherine, she, she has a much better sniffer. So she can probably let you know, but I, I, I would not be able to tell you. Um, is Kate, oh no. Okay. That's, that's not a nice question. This is supposed to be happy time. I want to do just happy stuff. Yes. Okay. Aw, Jane, you really deserve this for all the hard work you do. Plus, front page of the Daily Mail online. It's a gorgeous picture. Thank you. It's a more gorgeous picture of Catherine than it is of me, but it's still very exciting. Um, and again, I'm really super hoping it's in the like physical Daily Mail. That would just make me so giddy. <laughs> that would just that would just really make my day. Um, so yeah. <laughs> uh, Georgia says, love the pick. I would never be able to go. So I'm glad you were able to be there for us. Have fun. Yeah, absolutely. And again, yeah, it's definitely standing on your feet all day. My feet are tired. I was trying to walk. I was like, I got some time to kill. I should do something. But at the same time, my feet are sore. And you do walk around London a lot. I take the Metro most of the time. Um, cause it's just easier to get around. And sometimes if I just need to go directly to some place, I'll get the, get a taxi. Uh, oh my goodness. For all the time you put in, you deserve the photo. How exciting. I'm so envious. Enjoy your time. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go down here. <laughs> oh, thank you again, Eileen. You look wonderful next to Catherine. It's impossible to look diva. Yeah, no, she looks so much better than me. Totally own it, guys. I think that's great. Um, if you're on the front page of the print edition, you'll be on the ITV show for tomorrow's headline. Tonight, they show the front page of all the newspapers. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. 
I don't know why that would just tickle me again. It's the publisher parish thing. There's something about being in a physical print edition, which is like the creme de la creme. Um, and so I was actually was in there at some point for, we had gone down to see a celebrity, me and my mom and my sister. And it was just kind of fun. <laughs> TC T says, have you heard from their family? Are they blown away? Yes. And apparently my grandparents who are both 90 and have been married 70 years are tickled about what I do. They, they find it, they find it like oddly perplexing and yet kind of cute. <laughs> so I, I just think that's fun. I just think that's fun. Um, so Lady Jane, thank you so much for the tip. What perfume was a princess of Wales wearing? Yes, I know I've asked. I'm so sorry, you guys. I just cannot smell very well. Um, that is something I've struggled with for, yeah, I just have like sinus issues and I just can't smell very well. So I'm so sorry, Lady Jane, that I cannot answer your question, but hopefully somebody at some point can, but yeah, unfortunately I cannot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and did she see your logo with the channel name? Probably not. Cause my, my hair was probably hiding it. And I don't know. I was a little bit nervous about flashing it too much just because I like wanted it to be, cause again, to me, I compartmentalize pretty well. So it's like, there's Royal News Network, the channel, and then there's just me and Brittany who really wants the picture. So I just really wanted to be Brittany who wants the picture. Like I took pictures of her for with my big camera for channel reasons. Obviously, I put this vi picture up on my channel. How could I not? But um, so I felt like the big camera was more like business and this and little thing was like more personal. So I wanted it, it to have that personal feel and not feel like, oh, you know, you're trying to talk to a reporter or something because I was not that in that instance. I like to kind of again, think of different things at different moments. So, oh, um, Holly says to think you got this shot just before such a historic occasion. Yes, I know. I know. I know. Um, kids relevant. Oh, thank you so much for the super sticker. <laughs> Your photo, Mary. Wow. The daily mail. Yeah, I know. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. All right, TCT all. Thank you so much for the super sticker. That is really quite sweet. I really do appreciate it because um, obviously doing all this is definitely not cheap, but it is also really, really fun. And I'm just so excited I get to share it with everyone because not everybody can go and I want to make sure other people can see and enjoy. <laughs> Best day even before the coronation happens. Yes. So like if, um, I'm going to move this over here. Maybe not. Sorry, lights bothering me. Um, if so for me, it's like if the coronation is bust and I can't see anything, I have these pictures. So to me, it's like this is a win. This is a win. Uh, what did you ask her if I could take a selfie? <laughs> I asked her that twice. <laughs> All right. I know I seen a couple of people, I think, who posted a couple of times that I didn't get their message earlier. So I apologize. Uh, Shelly Belly says, now you're famous on several publications and news outlets. Any chance we can get an autograph for Neil? <laughs> well, you probably don't want my autograph. But yeah, no, thank you so much. It was definitely, that definitely surprised me. I think actually my dad was the first person to let me know that you're like, he's like, hey, you're on like the Daily Mail. And I'm like, really? Really? Um. Hillary McDonald said this channel has to be the most positive, welcoming, happy little space on the entire internet. Love RNN. Yes. Thank you. That's what I want it to be. We can talk about serious stuff and important stuff and do important commentary, but I want it to be happy and pleasant and positive most of the time. And well, pretty much all the time and just be a lovely, lovely place. Cause I think that makes everything so much better. So that's my thing. Hey, Brittany, what is your response to Chris Boozy calling you a Megan hater? The word hypocrite comes to mind when he says that. I mean, like what, what I found really funny, and I'll just say this, is that, you know, he basically called me part of a hive. And if you know me personally, I am like the least hive minded person you could possibly meet. <laughs> I'm a very independent thinker. I do not go with the crowd. I have been like that since I was a kid. You can ask my parents, my sister, anybody. I'm not like the go with the crowd mentality. I like to think for myself. I like to come to my own conclusions. And I encourage everybody on this channel to listen to what I say. If you have your own thoughts, hey, more power to you. I'm just giving you a bit of food for thought for you to think as well. So just that he says that really, you know, really signifies that he has no, knows absolutely nothing about me <laughs> whatsoever. And if you go through my thread right now, it's all like really 
about all the other royals that really I haven't really mentioned Harry or Meghan in the last couple of days, and I'm totally fine with that. So, I mean, I will obviously have commentary on them, but right now I just want to be happy and positive about what's going on in the UK with the coronation. That's where I want to be. So, um, there's other chances to talk about those type of things too. But hey, you know. But again. That's just my thoughts. <laughs> Lolu says, I saw your footage from someone right behind you. Two, I recognize the top of your head. Oh, and the sound of your voice. How awesome. Oh, that's awesome. That's really awesome. That's so fun. That's so fun. <laughs> F uh, Delish says, I love you more and more. Thank you. Thank you. How was her hair? Her hair is lovely. Her hair is really lovely. It's It's got more, I think, of a coppery look than you might think. Um, I, I noticed that in Boston too, because I was there in Boston. I had a video of her and I wasn't close to her, but I had, I had a little video camera on a little tripod and I did this and I actually got some pretty decent video, although it's very jerky because it was cold and it was really windy. So it wasn't the best in the world, but I did, I did, I did try. Um, <laughs> Princess Catherine is wonderful in every way. So delighted for you. What an amazing day, Brittany. It really was. It really was. Google says she's 5'9", Denise says. Yeah, and I would say 5'8", five, 5'9", five, that's about right. Because um, she was definitely tall, but not like you just saw her and like she's like an Amazon and she's unbelievably tall. Because some people had said she was 5'11". I'm like, I really don't think she's 5'11". Um, but she is definitely like taller than average. And I did see a couple of like really sweet moments. You know, the, we had a little bits of PDA between Catherine and William, you know, him putting his arm on her back and everything, which I think is super sweet. Um, Bridget says, definitely get that pick and hang it next to your 100K plaque. I'm living vicariously through you this week. And it's all so exciting. It is. And yes, I plan on buying the Getty images. I did see it on, on um, Associated Press as well. And I maybe we'll look at Almany because Getty is just really, really expensive. It's like $500 for that shot. Uh, but it would definitely be worth it. It would definitely be something like I would put on my account, especially if I do a couple more of these and I get in more Chris Jackson shots. Um, I'll definitely do that more because I do have one of me in it. And it's just so funny because it's like it's just me with this massive camera and lens. Um, which got some pretty good shots, but ugh, golly, it was so rainy that night. It was ridiculous. So we will look through to all. Tara says, um, Tara and Jason says, you look great in the Getty image. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you look, you even captured Kate's dimple look to perfection. Yeah, I think I have like one little dimple. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I thought that was, that was kind of, that was, I mean, again, guys, it was just super fun and just super nice to be able to have that moment after looking at pictures for so long, seeing her in person and shaking her hand was really great. Um, oh, Jane, you really deserve this for all your hard work you do. Plus front page of the mail online. Yep. Yep. I know some people, many people keep asking her about her perfume guys. I'm so sorry. I just do not know. I realize I'm really far back in the the threat. I am really far back. Goodness. But I'm trying to get through and get through um, all those who gave tips and just answering any questions and thoughts and stuff. Lisa, I love the picture of you on the Daily Mail front page tonight with the beautiful Catherine Princess Wales. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Oh, <laughs> you're so kind, Sarah. You look amazing and I don't feel disappointed. Thank you. You guys are, your guys are pumping me up, but I like, I need to. I need to get back on it. My sister's getting married. So I, I want to look good in those pictures, guys. So I just tend to look better when my face is thinner. Um, <laughs> Ar Arian said, Bozy is already wetting his something about this picture. And it makes it look so much more fun. It makes it that much more fun. Yeah, I think so. Because I'm so excited. All of you who have been on Twitter, who have been defending me. Thank you so much. That is so kind of you. I mean, you don't have to do that. But I think it does really show that, you know, he can say whatever he wants, but if you've been following me and you actually know me and my channel, you know, um, where I stand on things. I don't really hide that, but at the same time, I try to be fair and I try to definitely don't generally go down the route. Some people go and that's totally fine for them. I just have chosen not to do that. And so, yeah, I, I don't, I think he has much less to complain about me than like a lot of other people. So, and like, it was just a fun picture. <laughs> it seems like some people just like to drag people down. I'm not, I try not to be one of those. Um, Connie says, so wonderful, such a beautiful photo. I've seen a video and it all looks so exciting. I cannot wait to get to the coronation on Saturday. Yes, it is so exciting. If you've never been to one of these, it is really a fun event. Again, there is, you know, kind of the crowd surges forward. So if you're a little claustrophobic, it may be a bit challenging, but I think it's definitely worth it just to do it once. It's just fun. 
Although, I, again, I think the older I get, the let, the harder it will be on my feet. <laughs> Congratulations. This is so exciting. What an exciting thing to have happened. Kate is a beautiful woman and seems like a great person. You are beautiful, too. Enjoy every minute of it. Thank you. All right. Aw. Carla, thank you so much for the super sticker. You are so sweet to do that. I really do appreciate it so much. Okay. Um, this is a good question. Uh, Tavon says, um, Tavion says, random question, but will the imperial state crown be altered to the original size for Charles like it was for George the Sixth? So it all depends on the size of Charles's head. So if he needs it altered, they'll alter it. They have taken it out of the Tower of London. They took it out a while ago. I was there in March and it wasn't there. So they are altering it in some way. Again, everybody's head is different. Uh, some people can, and this is the same for TRs too. Some women, their heads are perhaps bigger and they're able to handle some of the different TRs better. Um, or some women are, have smaller heads and, the, and certain TRs work better because some of them are actually rather flexible. Like they lay flat in the box and then some of them are very rigid. So if your head shape is not right for that particular tiara, it may not look good. <laughs> you um actually M lady miss melissa percy uh if you check out her wedding pictures um you can see where her tiara is like it's like here and it's like a normal tiara like but the, like the band is hitting right here on her head it's kind of weird i'm like why is it like that um it, it, it wasn't a great look um in my personal opinion so uh yeah that was kind of something to uh yeah so it all depends on your head and some people too get headaches so they can't handle the big ones uh so queen beatrix of the netherlands she had a hard time with the bigger heavier tiaras so she never wore the stuart but queen maxima apparently that is not a problem so she loves wearing the stuart tiara and i'm so excited that she loves wearing the stuart tiara i don't have an issue with that whatsoever <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> uh, Melinda says, oh, my goodness, I saw you the picture of you and Kate and almost had a heart attack. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, did they? Oh, they did plug my channel. Oh, yay. I was so excited. I haven't looked at the articles yet because it's like I was a little nervous about what they would say. But yay, I'm so glad they plugged the channel. That is awesome. Yeah, they did show the actual tweet, which does have my channel name on it, which I think is really great. All right. J. Um, Bajovan. Bajo Jay, I'll just say Jay, because <laughs> you don't want me trying to pronounce. Thank you so much for the super sticker. You are so kind. I would try, but honestly, I'm really bad at it. Um, so, oh, Teresa, hi, Brittany. Hello, hello. Um, we have um, Teresa. Congratulations on seeing her highness. Thank you. <laughs> And then somebody asked again, and did, she, did I ask her if she was wearing a tiara? I did not ask. Um, Stendhal asked, where's the reception? Buckingham Palace. So it'll be similar to the reception they had the night before the Queen's funeral. But Charles apparently wants his bedtime to be six. So I don't know how exactly they're going to have an e evening reception that would probably normally start at seven. That is a mystery to me. Uh, B-level baby, your excitement is contagious. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Kathy Zimmerman, thank you so much for the tip. You are so kind. <laughs> yeah uh cat says go to the daily mail now your um pick is there with the selfie yes oh my goodness so many times i've seen it it's crazy all right peggy spongin thank you so much for the tip you are so sweet and then we have um angel angelou Docky. i saw kate at my workplace when she and wills visited she was absolutely stunning honestly i wish i could have talked to her i bet you were so excited i was excited honestly guys heart like shaking and like heart beat beating fast it was so so lovely um victoria thank you so much for the super sticker you are so kind <laughs> yeah, I should have asked her what she was wearing at the coronation. LOL, beautifully done and congratulations. Yes, I would have asked her, but I was pretty positive she wouldn't say anything because um, I think they keep they keep that something that's kind of close to the best. And I don't totally blame them. So um, I just thought it would have been fun, which I would have remembered to ask her how the kids were. But again, they can't stop and have a long conversation with everyone. So I understood. Um, but next time, guys, next time. Uh, Dominic Montgomery, buy yourself a pint at Dog and Duck. Yes, I need to go back there. And because I know some people, I don't really drink, but I just thought I would get maybe one just to have a bit of fun. Because um, I got like a, a glass of champagne on um, my flight when I was coming over and I had like three sips of it and then I was done. Because um, I just can't do it. I, I've attempted, but I just don't. 
<laughs> it just doesn't work for me. But I just did think it would be fun to go back to like the scene of the crime and as it were, and get a, a pint and like say, what is your best British, British malt liquor or beer or whatever? I don't want to get something. I want to get something special, not just like where you can get anywhere like Guinness or something. I want to get something special. What a fantastic day, Kat said. So happy for you and thank you for sharing it with us. Yes, I'm so glad I could share it with y'all. It was just so fun. So, so fun. <laughs> uh, Chris says, that was amazing. So glad you got some good pictures for your library and got to meet the beautiful princess. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. I'm, I'm curious how it'll all turn out. We'll see. Mama Otter says, did you see Rebecca English, the Daily Mail Royal Correspondent? I did not, but she posted a video that was like right behind me, not too far behind me. But um, yeah, so yeah, I did see that and I tried to go, hey, I'm right in front of you. So I know they don't know my name yet because I haven't really um, shared a last name. So, but obviously there's some crazy elements out there. So I try to be careful. Max's mom was Catherine wearing the Sapphire ring. Yes, she was. I even got a decent picture of it, which I wasn't planning, but was super exciting. Uh, Angelique says, hi, Brittany. So happy for you, um, to see you with Catherine. What a wonderful experience. Yes, it was. If you haven't done it again, it's, it's fun to do like one time. Um, I will do it more than one time. And uh, there's, elements I don't look forward to, but the payoff at this one was totally worth it. Totally worth it. Cause sometimes it's not cause you get there, you don't see anything and it's hard and you will have days like those, but you got to power through them. If you ever want to do it, if you don't want to do it, that's totally fine. Um, Shauna, thank you so much for the tip. You are so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> And then we have Emily as well, Felicity16, so happy for you. Please don't forget to copyright your photos. Yes, I do have a watermark I put over them and I make it kind of big so that people know it's mine. Um, and so, yeah, and I'll put, you know, if I use it for an image for something, I'll make it smaller, but yeah, because I want to have my own little library and hopefully at some point Shutterstock will go, you know what, that girl, she has really good pictures. We should go ahead and accept her pictures. That's kind of what I hope. Um, the answer is, will you be able to fall asleep tonight? I'm super excited for you. Yes. Cause I will be taking Benadryl because I'm still, uh, still got the sinus stuff. So we will take her, we'll do that. Uh, so hopefully, oh my gosh, I'm still so far behind. I may have to scroll through to the tips and then <laughs> did there. Cause I don't want to keep you guys on here too long, but, um, did you call her anything like your Royal Highness? I don't even think I did. I honestly don't remember. It's one of those things where you meet, like, I think the third time I meet her, I'll remember what I said, but this time I didn't quite, I wish I had kind of like recorded it, but again, I, you know, you just get so nervous, you get so nervous. And that, that's, that's real. Um, uh, Salisar says, how did your selfie end up in the daily news? Did they ask people to send pictures? No. Um, that picture just went really did crazy well on Twitter. It's been seen by at least probably now a hundred thousand people. Um, and it's been liked by at least last time I saw like 7,000. So it just had been something that it just went really well. And then one of the first pictures Chris got happened to be me and Catherine taking a selfie. So you have the selfie, the actual selfie, and then you have, um, the Chris's picture and you put them together and you have a story. So I totally get that because you can kind of see it from the two angles. And since my, my profile is a bit bigger on my Twitter and stuff, and I have more followers and everything, it was just easier for it to get traction. Oh, <laughs> you were in several videos. I clipped screenshots of you and for the princess of Wales. It was not sure if they could attach here. Probably not here, but you can always email them to me as well. Oh, yeah. Um, the princess Anne interview, I have it uh, downloaded for, um, from YouTube. So I do plan on watching it at some point here. Brittany, your mother and father must be so must have to be so proud of you. What did they have to say about it? My mom was so excited for me. She really was. So um, I just thought that was that was cool. <laughs> How was William? Was he good looking? I think he is good looking. Um, I you know I think he was a little bit more better good looking when he was younger. But hey, you know what? All of us go through changes in our life. And but what? the true test of relationship is that it's obviously not about how he looks. It's about him and Catherine and their relationship. And I think that's lovely to see. So, um, so yeah, so, and he's not mine, he's Catherine's and you know, they have made a beautiful family together. And so I'm super excited for them. And I'm like, no, nah, and he wouldn't look at me anyways. Let's be 
<laughs> Sorry, that went down a weird track there for a second. I was like, wait, yeah. So congratulations, Brittany. If you see King Philippe, send him my love. Yes, he is a handsome fella. He is. And he is tall, too. He's 6'5". And Letizia looks really short, but she's like 5'7". Um, that's his wife. And she's like very thin and also just extremely poised. And so he's very tall. Uh, I'm really hoping that George will be the tallest royal in British history. I just think that would be super cool. Just, you know, just to be cool, you know, because it's, it's fun to make records. Angelique, oh, thank you so much for the super sticker. You are so sweet. Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, Royal, sorry, Ryan says, you were so brave for asking and actually talking. I would have frozen. In fact, when I was in the presence of then Prince Charles and Princess Diana, I did. Oh, wow. That would be, oh my gosh, two of them. That would be really overwhelming. But I think my, my, my like goal was I want the selfie. I want the selfie. So if I could get anything, it was going to be the selfie. <laughs> so, um, I was just really, really wanting that. Um, cause I've done that Again, I've waited outside a couple of times now and I just finally just wanted that. How does a selfie can end up in the Daily Mail? Um, again, it was just like the Getty had the image. I had the image and it just was kind of a, a simple kind of marriage thing that came together really quickly, I think. Um, so Angelique Hammonds, keep up the great work, Brittany. Thank you. Yay again. Yes. Yay. Yay. Um, so what's, who's your favorite British monarch pre Windsor, Sax, Colbert, Gotha? Um, I've been really interested in Eleanor of Aquitaine and Henry the II. I think they're very interesting because she was actually 11 years older than him and she still gave birth to eight children. So she was like, I think maybe close to 30 or 30 when they got married. Uh, he was pretty young and she lived through three of her sons died. Um, uh, John survived her. So John, who was, um, King John, who was the inspiration in part for the King John of Robin Hood. He was her son. Richard the Lionheart was her son. She had another son named Henry who died. And she like helped her sons lead a revolt against their dad. Like they have a very interesting family dynamic. Um, and, and she went on crusades and stuff. Like she was like, I'm really interested in her. Um, I just think that's super cool and super unique and interesting. So that's just, um, that's just what I think. <laughs> so if that, if that makes sense. So I think that's, that's really, really fun. So, um, but like, there's so many others and I just haven't, I mean, obviously Henry VIII, everybody loves to hate on Henry VIII, but he was, I mean, he was a character. You got to give it to him. And that's what I think makes Royals fun is that they're oftentimes very much characters and you just don't get that kind of excess anymore. Thankfully, thankfully. Um, but they're just very interesting. <laughs> when I saw your pick on DM, I jumped out of my chair and yelled, scaring my doggies. Oh, so happy for you. Oh, I miss my doggy now. Uh, but that's so exciting. So exciting. All right, Sherry. Oh, thank you so much for the tip. You are so kind. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, going through here. Um, so Georgia asks, are you going to be near a screen to watch the coronation from outside? I read that there was going to be screens, kind of like a concert. Do you know where if that is true? Yes, there is a location where you can watch it on screens. My attempt is going to be to get as close to the Royal Nile as I can, because uh, I want to get a balcony shot. If I can't get anything else, I want a balcony shot. I really do. So that is kind of my goal is to get a balcony. Uh, so that they bring it, people in starting from the back of the mile. So I'm going to attempt to get myself closer to the back of the mile, hopefully in a pretty decent spot. I mean, I'll get up early and everything. Maybe even part of it will be on Whitehall or something. And then um, I will run down to the mile. As soon as I get my pictures, like I will follow them and run down the mile if I can. Um, Cause my goal is to get there is to get that balcony shot. Cause I bought a camera or sorry, lens specifically for that balcony shot. And I want my balcony shot and I want it to be clearer than the one I got last year. And thankfully this time they don't have stages, at least as far as I know, I haven't been there since yesterday. They had these massive stages for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and you could not see diddly squat unless you were right in front of the gates or like the main gates, not all the other gates because there's a whole big stage there, right in front of the gates or kind of in the wings further back. Cause I got really close and was pretty close to Ed Sheeran when he was playing, but then I um, failed to uh, get close enough. I think in the video I have, you can barely see Camilla. 
And I have this gimbal thing that could have probably given me the video, but then um, it had died because I forgot to charge it. That's that's a hard thing about all this stuff too, is remembering to charge everything. <laughs> like, do you have cameras charging? Yeah, because I have like my battery charging for my camera right now, which reminds me I need to get my second battery out because I have this um, extra thing. Sorry, probably most people don't care. This extra little thing on the bottom, which actually makes this a lot heavier. Um, you can put two batteries in here. So this gives you just a bit of extra. I got this used just gives you a bit of extra battery life because there's nothing worse than being there in that moment. Like I was at the Commonwealth service recently and realizing you're waiting for Catherine and William to come out, which is one of the main reasons you're there. And then realizing that your battery is about to die and you keep having to click your camera off to make sure that you um, don't lose battery. That, that's just no fun. That's just no fun. Cause then you're like, Oh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, jo Joanne, you're so sweet. Brittany, stop worrying about your weight. You look beautiful and bright in your pictures with Catherine. I'm sharing your joy right now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, it's really sweet. Um, Patricia, oh, thank you so much for your tip. Enjoy your time there. Be safe. Um, for all of us, be safe. Thank you. Yes, I'm, I'm hoping everything goes smoothly and that people are safe and everything because, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, can be crazy. So it's just... I just wanted to save because that, that way everybody can have fun. Let's all have fun. Um, Lori Black, a super sticker. Oh, thank you so much, Lori. You are so sweet. And we have Fatima as well. Her makeup. Um, it was expertly done. Really well done. Um, yeah. So I thought it was it was actually wonderful and lovely. I thought it looked really, really great. Um, so, yeah, I was super excited about that. <laughs> um uh, Sol 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 Solari asks, um, how did you manage to get your picture of your selfie printed in the Daily Mail? I have no idea. I just posted it and the Daily Mail picked it up and it went from there. And that is what happened. And then I'll be down first thing tomorrow morning to see if it's actually in the physical version of the, the Daily Mail because I really want it to be. <laughs> Part two of the Rebecca English question. You were on her Twitter and she retweeted you before. Yeah, she has, I think, commented about um, to me before. So yeah, my, my, my following is still relatively small compared to some of these other, you know, much bigger hitters, but, um, you know, it's, but that thing takes time. I like, I, my Twitter only started growing, I think earlier this year, or maybe no, it was maybe in the fall last year it was when it really started growing. It was like at a hundred for a long time. So, um, but once I started doing like pictures and trying to keep up with it more and I, I try to do other, the other Royals too, but actually is, I mean, you would be surprised how time consuming some of this stuff is you think, Oh, it's going to be so easy. It's not, it's not, it's, it's not quite as much. So it does take a lot of time to keep up with everything. Like I'm surprised. I'm always amazed at the people who are able like Kristen, her account on Twitter, she's able to keep up with so much. And I just wonder how they do that. But I also have like, you know, six different things I'm trying to manage, which puts in again, an extra bit of pressure on everything. Bobby, thank you so much for the super sticker. You are so kind. Are you going to camp out or get a press pass? So press pass was basically reserved for huge major publications. They weren't really giving it to anybody else. So I will be relegated to the crowd, which I kind of figured, but I was just hoping that maybe, maybe just maybe I would get to have a bit more fun, but um, just because I wanted the freedom of movement, but I understand too, they can't give press credentials to every media outlet in the world that wants press credentials. Then half the audience would be, media outlets from around the world. So I understand why they can't do that. And the thing is too, is they do have professionals there to get the pictures that can be utilized by everyone. I totally get that. I just want my own too. Cause I don't want to pay them for pictures. If I can have my own, then I don't have to pay all the time. I mean, I still do pay for actually quite a few pictures. Um, so Danica says so excited that you got to meet Catherine. And so far your photos are coming out. Great. Keep it up. Thank you. Yeah. I'm still worried. I'm still, um, I'm still working on getting that all the better. So hopefully every time it gets a bit better. Um, Georgia all, thank you so much. Georgia Peach, AKA Stacy. Thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. Diane says good things happen to good people. Like you, Brittany. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That means a lot. Okay. Um, just looking through here real quick. <laughs> Oh, this is so sweet. Ms. Richie says, Brittany, you definitely resemble, or Mrs. Richie says, you definitely resemble Blake Lively. So that makes sense that you would like her for fashion inspiration. Yes, I love her fashion. I'm a super big fan of her fashion. Not everything, but I appreciate someone who clearly has a vision for herself. 
she does. And she, even if I don't like every outfit, I know she has intention and thought process behind it. She's not just putting something together. She's always thought about it. Except for, you know, anytime she's on the red carpet. Sorry, I bumped that. Um, I think in her private life, she's sometimes more laid back. But she definitely understands the the idea of looking presentable and put together. So I appreciate that. Did they ask your permission to put it in the paper? They did not, as far as I'm aware. But I've been on here for the last hour and 40 minutes. So <laughs> I may have to may have to uh, peace out here before too long. Um, it's trying to get it. Yeah. So, oh, Georgia, AKA peach, Stacy. Thank you. Thank you for again. You were so sweet for the tip. I really do appreciate it. Um, <laughs> where do I find where she met Kate? I just got here. So it's at the beginning of the video. Most of the beginning is just the story about it. And obviously the rest of it is just, um, just answering people's questions and stuff. But I begin with the story of how, um, what it was like. So I, I don't know, it may not, you may not be able to watch it until it's done. I don't know quite how it works. I will be totally honest. I'm sorry. Um, Let's see. And I keep seeing somebody. I always try to give people timeouts before I block them. Um, just to like, maybe because I was like, well, I want to come back because I don't never offended by my thoughts. I try not to be great photo and great experience meeting Kate. Do you think she recognized you from your channel? I wouldn't think so, but I don't know. I mean, I have a pretty big audience at that at this point and I have like 27 million views. So I don't know. I mean, I'm sure somebody on her staff is aware, I would imagine. Brittany, did you call your family immediately after meeting the Princess of Wales? Um, I tried not to just because of the 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 um, the potential like extra cost of it. Um, so I didn't. But as soon as I got back to my hotel and I had some time, I did call my mom because I knew she would be super excited. Uh, oh, Lentina. Oh, thank you so much for the tip. You are so kind. And somebody asked what time will air Central Time. So East Coast is five hours behind. Central time would be six hours behind. So the ceremony starts officially at 11. So you're looking at five in the morning? Yeah. Yeah? I'm not sure. Um, honestly, my brain's starting to fail a little bit here. So I, <laughs> um, I probably will not be able to tell you exactly. Um, but you're, you're six hours behind and starts at 11. So... Math is not my strong suit. I will be totally honest there. Brittany, your camera should have a, a photography still mode plus a video recorder made with or without audio. Yes. Yeah, so, it, I mean, it does. It can do both of those things. It can do um, video and pictures, but can't do them at the same time. So that is, I mean, your phone can, but the, the camera cannot as far as I'm aware. But I can actually switch if I'm on manual mode or something. I can just click the record button. And I did think about that, but then I got too wrapped up in everything and I did not. All right, go back. Keep going back here. <laughs> oh, this is so sweet. Sharon says, I know this isn't the place for it, but I have been dying to say this since I remember what day it was. And may the force, may the fourth be with you, Brittany. Thank you. Yeah, it's actually also, um, this is a day actually I ended up meeting um, Queen, well, I didn't meet her, but I saw her, Queen Maxima of the Netherlands, because today is the Netherlands Memorial Day to remember World War II. And I just happened to be there traveling. And so it was just a really cool opportunity to um, see them and the ceremony. I don't know what anybody said, but it was deeply moving and I thought it was gorgeous. Um, Caitlin, all oh, thank you so much for the tip, Caitlin. You are so sweet to do that. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, P Pacific says you need to head back to the Doug and um, dog, duck and dog um, pub, eat a proper British food and interview the staff there, their royal visit for RNN channel. They'll love to share. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. I'll definitely head back over there at some point. Marmy Yetter, thank you so much for the tip. You are so kind. Um. So what do we have to look forward to tomorrow? So I'm going to try to do a video. I started working on it about the um, throne and the schoon, the stone. Um, I, I want to do a video on that because I got some coverage from Westminster Abbey. So I want to put that in there. Um, but other than that, I think I'm mostly looking at the reception and just having my ear to the ground and seeing if there's anything else that comes up. And Millie asked, did I wear, asked Princess Catherine if she's wearing a tiara to, on the coronation day? No, I did not ask. <laughs> oh, Bobby says, wow, Brittany, you must be kidding me. It wasn't luck. You have mad, like mad skills. Um, it's at least getting the position right is somewhat luck, somewhat 
careful guessing, but yeah, it's, it's always, it's always a, a bit of a guess. Cause sometimes I thought, Oh, I'm in the exact right spot. And I was totally wrong. I was totally wrong. Um, Leslie says, Oh, thank you so much for the super sticker. Um, Lori says, are you going to be outside the concert venue to get pictures of any celebrities? I might, I might not. It just might not be worth it. I don't know. And the coronation day may be just a really long day. And so that just may be hard because it is hard to stand on your feet for six plus hours. Um, and, or, you know, six, seven, eight hours is that's a long time. It does, you know, you do kind of get tired. Um, congratulations, Brittany. This is from mystified. I was so happy to see you with princess Catherine on Twitter. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anita Johnson is so awesome. So happy for you and us. You got to meet the princess and take a selfie. Yes. She was kind enough, kind and sweet enough to do that for me. Um, Bearcat says in the comments, I linked to the video of you and Catherine and it starts at 622. Oh, thank you. I'll have to look. Um, so somebody asked, did you have flowers? I did not. I did not think of bringing, bringing some until later. I, I blame that a bit on, um, uh, jet lag brain. So Carol, oh, thank you so much, Carol, for the tip. You are so kind. You are really so sweet. You guys are so kind. And so I'll try to, I'll, I'm going to try to wrap it up here in a minute, but I, Polita, thank you so much for the tip. You are so sweet. And so, um, and then we also have the princess of Wales looks so delighted to meet you also. I mean, I hope she was, I, 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 you know, I just like to be respectful and kind and sweet and those kind of where I like to like to lean. So that was, it was, again, it was just such a blessing to be able to do that. Uh, Linda says, oh, great picture. So happy for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And um, Persia has so happy to see how happy you are for meeting Kate Middleton. I was sad for you when you missed them in Boston. Thank you. I was sad too. Like the second day I felt like, or no, it was kind of technically the third day. I felt like it was such a bust and it was so cold and I had waited so long and I felt like nothing worked out. And I was like, oh, um, but you know, today was a good day and a lot of the pictures, the focus is excellent. Excellent. Cause you had to put it in manual mode because there's other people moving around and sometimes the, the automatic focus is on the wrong thing. So you have to get in there and do manual mode. And sometimes I get it. And sometimes I fail because <laughs> I didn't notice I failed a couple times today trying to get right. Um, cause it, you know, people are moving and it's fast and it's, it's just different. And the, maybe the light changes and it's all sorts of different things. And I'm not fast and good enough yet to make all those changes on the fly. Like some people, uh, Jennifer, thank you so much for the super sticker. You are so sweet. Aw, uh, Margaret, you sound so chuffed. So I am happy that you got those great shots. Here's hoping many more. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> uh, Millie says, uh, Brittany, after you frame your picture, make sure to get a t-shirt made. Oh man, that would be, that would, I, I don't know. That might be a little much. Uh, but I like that idea too. Mary Ann, congratulations. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. It was just so, it's just, you know, a lot of luck and a bit of, um, Catherine William being willing to do a walkabout with us, um, general public. So I love that. Um, Chris, oh, thank you so much for the super sticker. You are so sweet from Sweden. Thank you. Um, Kelly asked, did she know you were from the U S? Um, I don't know if she could hear my accent exactly. So yeah, uh, Julie says the entire trip was worth it just for today. Yes. Yeah, it really was. If I could get a decent balcony shot, that, that would be, that would be my, um, that would be my pure de, de resistance. Uh, Brittany, how does Catherine's engagement ring look like live? I wish I had focused on it more. I'm so sorry. I didn't think about it. It's just one of those things where it's like, you think of so many different things. I didn't think about it until later. And I was glad I got a couple of shots, but I really wish I had looked at it more because I bet you it's a little, um, got some imperfections because it's been used for so long between Catherine and Diana. And I think maybe Sapphire is a softer stone, not as soft as like Emerald. Emerald can get really scratched up, but um, yeah, so we'll see. Um, Chris asks, oh, are you feeling better today? A bit better, but I'm starting to get a bit of a sinus headache. So I maybe need to call it, <laughs> call it done here in a little bit. Um, <laughs> uh, Kelly says, Brittany really needs a tall cameraman to help. Oh, that would be so nice. That would be so nice. I'm like, oh, you can stand right there and do the, the tall cameraman thing. Uh, Heather asks, is Catherine as beautiful in, in person as she is in pictures? Yes, she is. She is. It's not somebody where you would see, oh my gosh, they look so different. Because there are those kind of people. I think especially 
Hollywood, like, um, like somebody like Cara Delevingne, uh, it's like a model. It's like they, they photograph really well. And then you see them in person going, I don't get it, but it's something, something with your features. Some people photograph extremely well and don't look the same in person. I'm one of those people where I feel like I look better in person than I do in pictures. That's just my personal thought. <laughs> <laughs> Linda said, did you notice one of her guards looking at you? I did not. Um, hopefully, I, I definitely am not a threat. But um, yeah, they definitely could have been looking at me and going, who's this crazy lady who keeps asking her for a selfie? <laughs> uh, AJ Nook, thank you so much for the great look at today. You are committed. Can't wait to follow your journey towards the coronation of His Majesty King Charles. Love your channel. Thank you. I can't wait to see how it all comes together. I'm a little bit worried because they also have, it seems like all the soldiers in their like tall beaver hats are going to be down the mile. And so it may be really actually quite hard to see something. Um, so it'll just be interesting to see. Cause again, not only do you have them, but you may have police officers in between. So it's just a lot, just a lot of different things. So um, just a lot of different variables. Again, it all depends. Last year when I was at the Queens platinum Jubilee, one of my channel, I think only had like 5,000 subscribers or something, or maybe 3000. Um, I just happened to pick a spot that was right outside the exit of Clarence house. So I happened to see Charles Edward and Anne all drive by like really quickly, but it was like, I wasn't expecting that. And then they had this group of people came out. Some of it were Royal staff members like major Johnny. He was there. And then also what we were told was the quote unquote Duchess's family. Uh, I'm pretty sure they were Camilla's family, but I'm not sure, but Catherine and the kids and Camilla all definitely waved at them as they came by in the carriage. And so I did get that shot. Although my first carriage shot, I didn't use the gimbal, right. And I got a great picture of those wheels going by. But the second time I got the, got the shot. Um, so MSRS has they unveiled King Charles the third's family order yet? No, they have not. No, they have not. Um, all right. Okay. We just got a couple here. We got uh, Nan. And thank you so much for the super sticker. You are so kind. And then Kelly, I love your channel. I'm so excited for you. And thank you for sharing your experience with us. You are so welcome. Thank you so much for the tip. You are so kind. I really, really do appreciate it. Sorry. I'm just trying to make sure I know I see everything every once in a while. Something I want to make sure um, because there was so many people wanted me to block and tried to see them again, but I didn't. So, and then we have one more. Uh, we have Chad. I love your channel. Can't wait for the actual coordination coverage. Thank you. And thank you so much for the tip. And I am super excited, guys. And I hope you are too. I definitely maybe won't get the best pictures or images, but I will give it my darndest. And that is, I think, all you can ask for. So guys, I will go ahead and wrap it up here because it's been almost two hours, but I'm so excited. So many of you were able to join me and so many of you guys really, really enjoyed hearing about meeting Catherine, shaking her hand. I was so, so blessed. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys again, hopefully really, really soon. I think I'll probably do a live stream tomorrow night, but depends on how things go. Um, if there's not much going on, I may just do a video instead because I will be getting to bed early to get up to watch the coronation in person as best I can in the rain. So guys, thank you again for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.